yes, welcome to our today's demonstration video about the basics of your submersible water pump. Yeah, today we are in some part of Rengo, uh, that is in Uganda, we are installing this hybrid submersible water pump uh, to pump water from uh, uh, this borehole that we drilled some few weeks back. Uh, we drilled actually 100 meters and we are planning to use uh, solar power that we shall see later and also national grid because the pump is hybrid and we are pumping water or we are going to pump water through a, a horizontal distance of around 600 meters and a vertical height of 60 meters so basically we are going to look at uh, what the writings on a submersible pump means okay. yeah we are going to start with uh, the manufacturer which is Hybisan and then the model um so we have both the direct current symbol uh this one and then the the alternating current symbol so the pump can use both ac or all alternating current and direct current so we have vdc vdc means direct current voltage so the supply should range from 90 meter i mean 90 to 430 volts and we have um, direct current so we do supply a current of less than 10 amps or 10 amperes and the size of the motor is 4 inch so you shouldn't install this pump in a, a borehole cased with uh, less than 4 inches so we have power the rated power for the motor is 2200 watts so you should supply around that power and we have uh, RPM, which is revolutions per minute. Uh, so this motor can rotate from zero up to 4,000 revolutions per minute. So it is good to use, in case you're going to use solar or direct current, uh, solar or batteries, to use a pump that has a variable speed or that can run at different speeds. Because some pumps have specific running speeds and because uh, solar energy increases and decreases depending on intensity of sunshine so for solar pumping systems it is better to use a variable speed motor so we have insulation and we have class f uh, class f all the classes it is an international standard uh, there are other different classes from a b there is f and then h H is the maximum, and then F is the next to the maximum. Yeah, insulation means uh, um, the providing insulation to the to the copper winds inside. Mm -hmm. Now, when you when there is current flowing through a wire, yeah, there is some heat that is generated, um, and that heat is transferred to other parts of the motor, um, and uh, th that one helps you to know. Um, it helps you to know the, the maximum temperature the motor can withstand and the F which is next to the maximum is uh, up to 155 degrees centigrade yeah but that one uh, maybe your water engineer may advise so we have a symbol for a thermometer and it's reading 35 so it is good to operate this motor or this pump in a liquid with a temperature of less than 35 degrees. Uh, we have IP68. IP means increased press. It is also an international standard. And the first digit, uh, which is six. Uh, it ranges from zero up to six, and six means that the product is, uh, is protected from any kind of dust because it is the maximum rating and the eight uh, is also the maximum rating it ranges from zero up to eight and eight means that the product is uh, completely protected against submerge continuous submersion so it can be uh, submerged in water for all the time and this simple this symbol simply means that if you don't wire properly uh, there is a risk of electric shock um, yeah when we go to the 
alternating current side we have VSC which is alternating current voltage so you should supply between 90 to 300 volts uh, the same applies to alternating current it should be less than 10 amps yeah the rated flow um, that is the recommended uh, continuous operating output is 2 cubic meters per hour or 2000 liters per hour but the maximum flow the pump can output in this case is 6000 liters per hour so this one helps you to know how much water your pump is going to give and what is the best recommended continuous output yeah we also have what we call already head uh, all the recommended operating head which is 180 meters and we have the maximum head which is 257 um, so it is better to select after calculating what we call total dynamic head total dynamic head has uh, what we call dynamic head static head um, and also the friction loss through the pipe so it, it is recommended for this particular pump like to, the total dynamic head to total to 100 and the total head because total head has dynamic head and static head so it should be around 180 um yeah we can see this symbol ce ce means it is in the french it means uh conformite uh, European, it is in French. Yeah, I'm not good at French, but in English, it means it is certified for European market. So when when you put this symbol, it means the product can, the product meets um, the health, safety, and environmental standards in the um, European economic area. Um, yeah, we also have the has that we didn't see here. So this pump can run at 50 stroke 60 has and has simply means um, uh, the revolutions or the changes at which the current changes in the pump but that is more into electrical. So uh, that's the basics you should know about uh, your submersible pump. Um, yeah, just in case you have any questions you can you can reach us via our website which is www.wayseengineering.com uh, yeah we can yeah we can't see where we're going to deliver water but maybe we shall get a chance to see yeah thank you very much you can keep watching some of our other demo videos about uh, um, about other other demos yeah have a nice time